Welcome everyone, it's Ian from CPP Trading and in this video you will learn everything you need to know about the PDT rule. If you ever had your account flagged or you just want to avoid that situation then stick around till the end as I break down the most important points about the pattern day trader rule. So we will start by looking at a few different points. First we will look at what is the PDT, the pattern day trader rule, then how it can affect you and a few things you must know. And then lastly, I'll show you a few ways to avoid the PDT rule and how you can legally get around it. I will also cover how you can day trade with less than $25,000 in your account. So what exactly is the PDT rule? The pattern day trader rule is set by the FINRA and requires any trader who executes more than three day trades in a rolling five business day period to maintain a minimum of $25,000 in their margin account. So if your account falls below that amount, your broker may flag your account and restrict your ability to day trade. The key here is the rolling five day period. So this means that the rule looks at any consecutive five business day period. If you make more than three day trades in this window, your account will be flagged as a pattern day trader. Unlike a regular week, this is not based uh, you know, on a five day week, Monday to Friday. It's a moving window that constantly updates. For example, um, if you take three day trades on a Monday and then you don't take any trades for the rest of the week and then you take another day trade the following week, then you will be okay. But if you say take a day trade on a Wednesday, one on a Thursday, one on a Friday, and then you take another trade the following Monday, so it's next week, but you have violated that rule and your account gets flagged because you didn't wait for those five days to pass. So you took more than three day trades within that five day period. So it used to be that if you violate that rule that your account can get flagged and restricted for a 90 day period. However, those rules have recently changed. And now it's like with most brokers when you're flagged for a uh, as a pattern day trader, and it's your first time you can call your broker for a one time reset, they will remove the PDT requirements. But if you do it again, and you get flagged again, you take more than three day trades within that uh, five day period, your account gets flagged forever. So that will stay on your account and you cannot open any new positions until you meet the minimum of $25,000 requirement. So now we kind of get to the good part. So there are a few ways you can avoid that PDT rule and kind of work around it. So first of all, you have to know that this rule it only applies to the U.S. stock markets. So if you're trading, um, you know, U.S. equities, you can actually open a cash account and the PDT rule does not apply to that. The only issue there is you have to wait for your funds to be settled before you can use them again because the PDT rule only applies to a margin account. There's a cash account and a margin account. It only applies to a margin account. Now, the other part is that Obviously, if you're not in the US, that also does not affect you. But if you are in the US, you can actually trade Forex or futures. So the PDT rule does not apply to the Forex market or the futures market. So like I said, uh, this rule does not apply to the Forex market or the futures market. So you can actually trade um, indices. For example, you can trade um, S&P 500, E-mini futures. You can trade currency futures, you can trade, um, you know, agriculture, so cryptocurrencies, even the energy market, um, you know, quite common uh, gold futures, precious metals, for example. There are a lot of options for you to, to still trade and day trade with less than $25,000. On the other hand, there are also, um, you know, a lot of uh, prop firms, proprietary trading firms, they can trade futures or even Forex, that might be an option for you as well. Another thing I would like to add here is, like I said, the PDT rule does not apply to the Forex market. So the Forex market is exempt. And with most brokers that offer Forex CFD products, you can actually trade US shares. So for example, they have a lot of the large cap stocks available. You can trade Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla. A lot of guys are trading, day trading, scalping, Nvidia. 
for example, but you really have to understand the difference between a CFD product and an, an equity, an actual stock, because when you're trading CFDs, you do not own the underlying asset. So prices are basically supposed to move the same. Um, it's not centralized, it's uh, the forex market and CFDs, it's decentralized. You may see a small difference, especially if you're trading on you know the one five minute time frames from broker to broker. So you have to be aware of the spread, your commission costs, but that would be another option for you to day trade any of those companies based on the same price movements without the $25,000 requirement because you can trade that with a you know small account and that rule does not apply. So we covered the most important points in, in this video. If you liked it, please uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you had any issues with the uh, PDT rule, if you ever had you know issues with the account being flagged or what you think about it. Leave a comment below. I'll try and uh, reply to it. And I'll see you in the next video. Trade safe.